Wen was sleeping peacefully in Hobie's embrace. It was midnight when Wen opened her eyes. She found herself in Hobie's embrace. She looked at him. Under the dim light of the night bulb, his handsome face was redefining the world in a sense. The next moment she realized that after a few hours in the class she had to submit the assignments very carefully she broke his embrace to free herself though she didn't want to but she had to get up from the bed hobi opened his eyes as he could feel her movements hobi in sleepy voice still hitting the cramps when no i'm just hobi come back after changing your mm, i'm waiting when had no choice as she didn't want to be insulted in front of the whole class she headed towards the study room silently when thought hobi must have fallen asleep she concentrated on her assignment hobi was unable to sleep as he was missing van's warmth he got up from bed as it was almost an hour when hadn't returned to the bed he checked the washroom he doubted if she was hiding her pain and become unconscious but there was no one in the washroom but the lights of the study room were on he headed towards the study room and so when was busy with her studies he silently walked towards the table and peeked from her back she was busy to complete the assignments on multifetal pregnancy I'll give everyone another day to complete the assignments. You don't need to overwork tonight. Your body needs to rest. Wen was startled as she heard those words. Wen, I don't want to be insulted by you in front of everyone. Hobi, I have already told you. I'll give everyone another day to complete it. Now come on, get up and go to the bedroom with me. Wen, let me finish this page. You go and sleep, Hobi. Don't overwork Wen. I can give you one extra day, but will definitely not allow Wen. You don't have to do any adjustment with the date of assignment submission because of me. Trust me, I'll be all right. It was five o'clock in the morning when Wen finally finished the assignment. She wanted to lay down on the bed but didn't dare to go to the bedroom. putting her head on the study table she closed her eyes it was 7 o'clock in the morning hobi got up from bed and went to the study room after completing his morning routine when he was sleeping but on her pant a big patch of fresh blood was noticed by him he realized that it was her second day of periods He wasn't sure about the fact whether she was bleeding excessively or she hadn't changed her napkin in midnight but he understood that she needed to change into a fresh one he tried to wake her up but there was no response from when only the softest snores were stopped as he tried to wake her up Hobi quickly went to the bedroom and lay down in continuous shift on the bed and returned to the study room He took her into his arms and carried her in bridal style to the bedroom and laid on the bed. As she was laid on the bed, she casually rolled on the bed and laid on her stomach. Within a few seconds, she started snoring. Hobi smiled softly and from the drawer of the cupboard, he took fresh undergarment and sanitary napkin. He sat on the bed and prepared the panty with the napkin. Indeed, the next thing to do was the most difficult part. Hobi patted on Van's shoulder. Hey Van, get up. It's seven o'clock, and her snores were stopped. And that's all he received as a reply. He made her lay on her bed, gently pulled down her shorts. Of course, blood were all over her bed. He carefully took off her pants with undergarment, took some wet wipes and cleaned up the clotted blood. One could feel a little tingling sensation on her lower part. She moved her hand and 
placed on her lower abdomen. Hobi gently put her arm on the proper place and helped his sleeping wifey to put on her fresh undergarment. Hobi covered her with the blanket. Taking her stained clothes, he went to the washroom and led them to be soaked in detergent. It was 9 o'clock in the morning when he was still sleeping peacefully, lost in her dreamland, but the sound of doorknob made her awaken. Hobi, oh, you were awake? Good. Check schedule. When? What time it is? Hobi, 9 o'clock? When? What? Why didn't you wake me up? Hobi, I tried, but I failed to wake you up. You just stopped snoring. That's all. When? Do I snore? Hobi, yeah, but that's not the point of argument, I think. When? But it's embarrassing. Hobi, yeah. Now get up and go to the washroom. When didn't speak a single word and directly headed towards the washroom without wasting a single second. When went to the washroom and after completing her morning routine, she noticed her clothes were been soaking in the detergent. She looked at those and remembered that she was wearing those in last night. She rushed toward the kitchen to ask Hobie about it but still she didn't decide what exactly to ask him. Hobie, be careful when you will when tell me how the shorts and the and the underwear I was wearing are in the washroom. Kobe, where did you sleep last night? When in the studies, Kobe, and when you woke up, you were laying on the bed. So, Kobe served the food on the table. Come on, when sit. We are not late, but if you keep looking at me like this. We will shovel it today. When tried to cover her knee with the oversized t-shirt of Hobi she was wearing. Hobi couldn't control himself from smiling as when he was looking so confused. She was still struggling to digest the fact that the man who served her breakfast actually No, it's impossible. She muttered, Hobi, come on, stop wasting time. Yet for some unknown reason, when was trying to avoid Hobie's gaze as she could feel a strong eye contact was approaching her. Do you need something? She asked while trying to concentrate on her food. Hobie, why don't you check what you are wearing now under this big t-shirt? Without a second thought, when checked her undergarments and she literally screamed, How can I wear this while I'm bleeding? No! Hobi, what happened? When? I bought this to wear on the occasion of graduation day. How? Hobi, who's gonna check your laundry on that day? When? That's not the point, but don't dare to lie me. Did you change my clothes last night? Hobi, yes I did. You were bleeding and blood was all over the chair. When tried to avert the eye contact with Hobi, but... Gently holding her chin, Hobi made her to look at him. Your precious undergarments was in my cupboard. Does it enough to clear your doubt that I'm your husband? When? I don't know what to do now. I never doubted you or our relationship and I want to upset because my plan went awry. I want to be upset but I'm running out of time. It's frustrating. Hobi, okay, now eat your food. I let the menstrual cup to sterilize. Just put on that before going to the hospital. Put on the menstrual cup, put on the menstrual cup. Can you plan anything else? Hobi stopped himself as he sensed it was her mood swings, collaborating with something she wanted to avoid. He lowered his tone. It's your second day and your flow is quite heavy, so I just don't want to see you being embarrassed in front of your classmates. 
though it's a natural thing but still if you want to be the center of attention for a day you can when avoided eye contact with him actually i couldn't put it on properly and maybe i am not that much courageous hobby i will help you and don't avoid me hobby noticed when chick turned red as she heard those words she quickly took the balls let me wash this quickly she just simply ran away from the situation and hobby was so done with her this time okay i'm waiting for you in the bedroom then he headed towards the bedroom after a few minutes when was standing in front of the bedroom and picked from the outside and coincidentally had a quick eye contact with hobby come on when come in hobby called her and at that point she had no choice without going into the bedroom when stepped into the bedroom she noticed hobby was prepared with the sterilized menstrual cup i should use the washroom and i'm taking this when took the cup and hid it towards the washroom hobby knew she was hesitating so he didn't say anything to her just casually looked at her he knew she definitely needs his help but he chose to be patient until she asks for help from him after a few minutes hobby heard the sound of the door knob so instinctively he looked at the door and saw when was still hesitating to ask for help it will take forever when he got up from the chair and walked towards the washroom hobby noticed when had taken a quick shower the smell of her body wash was mesmerizing hobby also noticed that the menstrual cup was untouched when can we be a little quick otherwise it's gonna be blood everywhere hobby washed his hands and took the menstrual cup come and be seated on the edge of the commode and uh, spread your legs he casually told her to do that but for when it was not that much easy but she knew she had to do that faster so she did what hobby told her to do she closed her eyes and pulled her t-shirt upward herself hobby when relax take deep breath hobby noticed her face was all red and even he couldn't deny the fact that he was also nervous usually a doctor doesn't do this but as a husband do. he tried to create the c fold but ended up with the punch down fold he held the cup on his right hand and with his left hand he spread her labia apart and gently pressed the folded cup into her vagina opening when wanted to close her eyes but at the same time she wanted to see her man helping her she looked at the mirror hobby's nervous yet serious facial expressions were clearly visible when was carefully looking at his reflection and uh, waiting for the pain to experience hobby was moving the cup more front to back than upward and released the fold to let the cup move into place he managed to grab the sides of the cup and turned it to rotate to ensure that the sides pop out completely and create the seal when was still waiting for the strong pain but all she could sense a pop hobby yeah done now get up and be ready quickly when but it didn't pain hobby smiled who told you that when wanted to answer him but as she felt a gentle grip on her thighs and soft strokes by wet wipes cleaning up the fresh blood she just choked and tears welled up in her eyes if i was you i don't think i could do this hobby smiled i guess that's why i'm your husband and i don't think you shouldn't have any problem to reward me when let me put on my hobby i'm waiting for you at the bedroom when while putting on her jeans wait where you always been so much romantic hobby 
if you think it was romantic then i would agree with you when i don't know but i think i was more wild i wasn't a quite person it can't be hobby wild yeah sometimes but overall you were a lazy bee who used to skip meals and scolded by me for that but as a student you were always been serious about your studies you have always glorified my name as a wife as a student doctor when don't you think you are always extra rude towards me hobby mm, okay i have an explanation for this i have never been extra rude or strict just because you are my wife but if i have actually acted like that then it's obvious that i have high expectations from you when i'm so done with you okay okay let's get ready soon they got ready and left for the hospital together then in the class when was trying to attend it in the class after back to back three classes in a row most of the students were bored but and the fourth class hobi walked into the classroom when quickly checked her backpack and ensured that she had brought the completed assignment when sighed in relief usually the professors told the students to submit the assignment after taking attendance but hobi started discussing on the topic risk of multifetal gestation right after taking the attendance that was the fourth class and the last class for the day when tried to concentrate on the topic but she was feeling so exhausted that she put her head on the desk and listening the lecture hobi knew when was well prepared for the class and with a weak health condition it was quite obvious for her to be exhausted but but hobi didn't want to miss the chance he completed his lecture and he still had some good 3 minutes hobi okay that was end of the discussion on risk of multifetal gestation let's hear the summary of today's topic from um, the student might be having bad headache for attending my class oh i see i guess it's miss levan when was turned as she heard this everyone in the class sighed in relief and fixed their eye on when obviously she had to answer when stated multifetal pregnancies are associated with increased perinatal morbidity 3 to 4 times that of a comparable singleton pregnancy the most significant cause of morbidity is preterm labor and delivery compared with singleton pregnancies which are delivered at an average gestational age of 40 weeks twins are delivered at an average of 37 weeks triplets at 33 weeks and quadruplets at an average of 29 weeks this with each additional fetus the length of gestational is decreased by approximately 4 weeks hobi any other morbidities when other associated morbidities include hydramnios in approx 0.10% of multiple gestation preeclampsia three times more frequent in twin gestation congenital anomalies postpartum hemorrhage placental abruption and umbilical cord accidents both spontaneous abortions and congenital anomalies are approximately twice as common in multiple gestation hobi was impressed by wang's answers and at that moment the bell rang indicating that the class was over hobi levan meet me in the cabin to check the patient's history for the evening rounds the whole class sighed in relief and went out of the class while when had to rush to hobi's cabin when actually wanted to rest for a few minutes she entered into hobi's cabin and saw the patient's history file she was roughly going through the file when hobi entered into the cabin hobi wow i'm impressed today when and i'm exhausted hobi 
Me too. Can I have a refreshing kiss from my wife? When really I'm exhausted. Be please. When walked towards Toby, though she was a little mad on him, but as her husband, she could see the love for her in his eyes. That was enough to melt her. When I have a strong feeling that we were living happily before, Ruby, aren't you happy now? When, yeah, I am, but the way my mind and my body comfortably relax, I can't stop myself falling for you again. Ruby pecked on her forehead. Let's go home after finishing the evening rounds.